Hello everybody out in YouTube land that may find our channel. I just wanted to take a quick moment and introduce Loma Acres Homestead to everybody. Loma stands for Land of Milk and Honey. We uh, are not on our final homestead. We are presently living in a subdivided neighborhood with a one quarter acre lot. That includes the amount of space our home is on. So we don't have the biggest homestead and I've used that for the longest time to be excuse after excuse of why we're not homesteaders yet. Now I don't know how you define homesteaders and I'm not going to even go into my real definition but this isn't it. That being said, I have to do what I can with what I've got and move in the direction of my goal. And uh, I've, I've had a lot of people say, if you're going to do this, do it. And again, excuse after excuse. Well, this year I kind of decided it's time to take the plunge. I'm starting where I am with what I've got and moving in a direction so that I can get to my goal. Uh, the uh, big kick in the butt, if you will, that got me moving in this direction. A friend of mine posted on Facebook a meme and forgive me I have to look down at my notes to make sure I say everything the right way and uh, get everything said in this video that we wanted to say he posted there are people less qualified than you doing the things that you want to do simply because they decided to believe in themselves period that was the kick in the butt that I needed so I've been doing a little bit of research over the years and that has come up to me um, that's not the right way to say it that has been that research has kind of been brought back into the forefront of my mind and I want to give some statistics and tell you why we decided to finally do it other than that statement that my friend made I found out that the average meal travels 1500 miles from the farm to the supermarket plus however many miles from the supermarket to your house that's a lot of miles to me that's unacceptable with all the talk about green going green environmentalism etc climate change whatever you want to call it how can we continue to use that much diesel and other fossil fuels to transport stuff unnecessarily so I, I what can we do to fix that and you know part of that is to buy food grown locally shop at local farmers markets plant a garden even just a small one and uh, that's where we started this year I'm not going to show you that today because um, it's still in the works and I'm not even where I want to be for you to recognize that it's a garden yet, but it's coming soon. Um, you know, we can vote three times a day to change the system that we see. And part of that vote is where we eat. Uh, excuse me, where we get the food that we eat. Buy local. Local farmer's market or directly from the farm itself. Reacquaint yourself with where your food comes from. But also do it and make sure that where you're buying local is someone practices farming or homesteading or whatever you want to call it in a way that is respectful to the animals, to any employees they have, and to the environment. All of that said, I want to say that my wife and I have come up with a mission statement, <clears throat> excuse me, come up with a mission statement for the homestead that we're going to have starting where we are, but when we eventually get to the big farm, if you will. And our mission statement is as follows. Our mission is to grow the best tasting, most nutrient dense food and to do so in a sustainable way, having the utmost respect for our human counterparts, for the environment we are in and on, and to the animals that we raise. So if you are 
on board with that kind of thinking, please feel free to give us a like, possibly hit the bell. We're not going to be putting videos up every day. I don't know right now what regularity we will be doing it, but as I see something worth your time, or what I think is worth your time, what I would like to watch on YouTube, I'll record it a little bit and I'll give you a video to watch. Appreciate your time.